Hey everyone, this is Amy with Pretty Presets and I was asked to do a video on the edit with this particular picture. Um, as you can see, it was um, you know pretty much properly exposed straight out of camera. I don't really have um, anything that I need to clean up on the picture. Um, this is, I haven't done anything to it. I took the uh, straight out of camera or the edit that I had and then I just hit reset so that it went right back to uh, what it was when it came out of camera. Um, I actually got it pretty straight in camera. I've been, yay me, I've been working on that for like a year or so um, so that I didn't have to spend so much time straightening out images because I'm really bad about that. So I used Peacock. So I just clicked on Peacock. That is a little bit bright for me. Um, the wonderful thing about this particular location that I use, um, they have a couple spots um, on the property that have these wide steps and then the sides like this. It's almost like a natural reflector because it just makes everything perfect. And I shoot here a few times a year. Um, I do some mini sessions there in the fall and they're great. They always turn out really great. And then I usually am there again starting about this time of year. So, um, okay, so I've got Peacock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the exposure down just a tiny little bit. And the warmth is already where I want it. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. I am going to add a little bit of contrast because I normally do. And I'm going to bring my highlights down. And I'm going to bring my whites down a little bit too. Uh, just because she has that white dress on, which is gorgeous. Uh, but I did have to play a lot with the highlights and the whites in all the photos. Um, you can see right here, I feel like there's just a little too much orange kind of coming in this area. And so I, and my box and my clarity and everything is pretty good right there. I'm gonna leave those as is, but I'm gonna go down here to my orange and I'm just gonna kind of adjust that. I mean, just literally like a teeny tiny bit. This is a tip that I usually share with you guys when we're in the group and something like maybe the color is a little strong. I'll say, okay, move your saturation to the left and the luminance to the right. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and you can see it just, it makes a, a great difference just by moving it just a little tiny bit. That's all you need to do. Um, if I come up here, I've still got um, this up here clip. So I'm just going to use my tone curve about right here. And I'm just going to pull that down and ta-da! That's all fixed now. So really super easy. I'm going to come down here. My sharpening with Peacock, you'll notice that the sharpening is already pretty high on there. So I'm good with that. I'm going to increase the noise reduction just a teeny tiny bit. And I am going to remove that. Oh, wait. Got to go to profile. There we go. I'm going to remove that. And <laughs> I should have done that in the beginning. Because <laughs> now i got to go back up. And we're just going to make another couple little adjustments. Go back down. We're good there. I think I'm going to move my contrast up just a little bit more. And I'm going to move my clarity up just a little bit. And I'm going to, all the images that I had in what you guys saw, actually she, um, I'm going to actually move the sharpening down a little bit. See how it looks kind of right in here, right under her eyes. And the sharpening is a little too much and I'm going to increase the noise reduction there to kind of have this blend in a little bit more and we'll do some skin smoothing. I didn't do a ton of skin smoothing with her because hello, she's already quite gorgeous and I just, I didn't really need to. So I don't spend time doing a lot of editing that doesn't really need to be done. So I went through some of the images and I did kind of like sharpen the eyes in with some of them and then I will do a little bit of clarity sometimes 
on the uh, eyebrows and the eyelashes. You guys know I always do that with my seniors, but um, you know, sometimes when as we get a little bit older, it just really depends on on their skin. As you can see, I mean, she already has really great skin. The only reason I kind of went into that is just because of this in here. Uh, and just for the sake of, because we can, but I'm doing this edit right now. Let's just do that there. Do that here. We've already got natural catch lights in the eyes, so we don't have to worry about that there. And I'm going to pull that back. And one last thing that I usually do when somebody is wearing white, especially since that's all she has on, is I go into the blue and I take the blues down because white will soak up blue from the sky. Um, so I usually kind of fiddle around a little bit with the blues to get more of a white look. And show you the before and after. Actually, you know what? This is one of those times where having see the difference in everything here. And some of that has to do with that, with the uh, blue saturation that we just did. So you can see the differences. This is the before and this is the after. Um, Peacock is great when you want those light airy photos. I didn't use it for uh, all of the edits. Uh, I've got these river images down here. Um, I, I didn't use it for these images. I use daffodil for these and so I'll show you kind of the difference in uh, why I wouldn't choose to use daffodil down here. Let me just reset this and I will, or why wouldn't you use peacock on this? Um, it's nice there, but I feel like daffodil had more the colors that I wanted. See that? It had more of the intense greens and everything that I wanted more um, color kit to it. So. Um, you know, that's a lot of times how I will choose which presets I'm going to use. If I've got, you know, a background that's, you know, like this, where, you know, everything is just so light and airy, then I want a preset that's going to match that. And that's my style of shooting usually as well, is I tend to shoot wide open and I tend to shoot with landscapes behind my clients. And so it just depends on if they're, if the, the landscape here in this image was way back, um, from where she was at but the landscape here it was closer and it was all these different shades of green so of course I had to go with a preset that was going to help draw out all those different shades and daffodil was really the perfect preset for that so anyways um an easy edit you know and then you go through and just uh sync up those images from that spot and you're done so uh that's what I did um as you can see I have a lot of images from the steps. So this was the first one and then all of these here were from the steps. So I did this one and then I just, I did this one and then I pressed down on control and I went click, click. Ah. So I just clicked on all of them all the way straight down and then I hit my sync right here, chose sync and then it synced them all up. So super easy, helps making the editing go by faster. So um, anyways, hope you learned something and you go out and create something pretty. Bye guys.